I'm having a mad half hour, so I thought I might as well share it with you. This one is how to get 480 volts out of an ordinary 240 volt plug socket and be able to do it from a variac and a couple of transformers. And on this one we're going to have amps as well as volts, so it will annihilate any household appliance. <laughs> I'll show you how easy this is. It's <laughs> I've got to do that again now, fuck. <laughs> right, I couldn't do that last scene again because I've still would have laughed, so I'm going to carry on. These are 1 kVA toroidal transformers. Normally 240 goes in here and 110 comes out. But we've reversed it and got two in series. That's what they look like um, without that protective wrapper. I will, might as well point out while I'm doing this is these are quite nice to modify the secondaries because you can tap off any point on here to get any voltage you want. So you can actually break this up and have like a 6 volt section or you know 9 volts, 12 volts, 24 volt, 36 volt. So you could turn this transformer basically to do any sort of voltage you want or multiple voltage. But that's not what I've done in this case. Maybe another day. So I've got two transformers, right? They're both 240 primary and 110 secondary. So they're both reversed. So I've got the two 110s in series, and that is now what I'm putting power into. And the two 240 volt outputs are in series, which will give me 480. And it runs quite normally like that. It's not, uh, it's not even getting warm, to be honest. And it will probably give us a good constant 10 amps at uh, 4, 480 volts which is very handy for blowing things up so let's test it right let's test this little setup and see if we can get our 480 roughly with the variac with nothing complaining nothing bubbling over let's see what we get There's our standard 230, the variac's halfway. So I want 415. Bang on. What about 440? Easy. That's not too bad. But I think we need to put some appliances and certain devices on that 400 volt output and see how long they last with some amps of course right here's a nice 300 watt light bulb and we'll see at what point it fails and start cranking it right up Two forty. Just about make that uh, display up. Three hundred. Three forty. Four hundred. Ah, oh, about 400 volts, quite a bit though, isn't it? I ain't having it. Yeah, the thing is with most lamps, they've got fuses built in. Wouldn't think it, but there they are. Popped. Right, we'll go again with one of my favourite lamps, not, and see what this can take. Well, come on. Look at that, ticks over. About 90 volts. But we don't do 90 volts on this channel. Here we go. 
I popped it as usual. Right, this isn't the best setup in the world. Put the TVs on. 222 volts. Let's start cranking it up. Right up. Well, there's 240. I'll just hide a little bit. Fuse is bypassed, of course. 300. power circuit. Oh dear, boys, those of you who have been watching for quite some time knows what happens now when I am disappointed. I'm heavy there. Right, here's a quick look at the nice 415 volt DC electric arc with one or two amps. <laughs> Wants a bit of resonance really, doesn't it? Come on, I want more. Oh, can't. I hate that thing. Huh, sorted. In doubt, give it a clout. Where was I before I was rudely interrupted? Right, I think we need to put 415 volts AC, of course, into this tiny microwave oven transformer and see what happens. Ballasted, of course. Magnetic field in the transformer, pulling that arc slightly. Who must do better? There's definitely something about playing with electricity, which is fun. One more. to import some extra power to try and clean some of this mess up. See, in the name of science, I wonder if that Dyson runs on 415, if it'll clear this mess up for me any quicker. Shall we find out? Right, see what happens.
What did it take, boys? I didn't see it. Right, that's my mad half hour done with. Don't want to bore you guys too much, so uh, I'll upload this one and crack on with some more. Guys, as always, thanks for watching the vids. See you soon. Thank you.